Hey there, Sam Visnick here, Release Muscle Therapy, and in this video, we're gonna review the Adduction Drop Test. Now, the Adduction Drop Test is a particular test that's used in the PRI system or Postural Restoration uh, Institute system. Now, the outcome of using this test is to determine the ability of the pelvis to be in a neutral state. Now, the test is very similar to a physical therapy test called the Obers test, which is classically used to determine the tension in the TFL slash IT band. So the test is very similar in terms of setup and even execution, but the outcome of what you're looking for is different between PRI and the classic uh, physical therapy test. Now I wanted to make a video of this using the skeleton model. A lot of videos that you see out there for this test are used using a human. It's oftentimes difficult to see what's going on to really capture internally what you're looking for. Okay, so in the test setup, we would have the individual at a 90-90 position here, 90 degrees in the hip, 90 degrees at the knee. And the testing position, what we would be doing here is monitoring the position of the pelvis. The leg would come up so that the knee is higher than the hip. When the knee is higher than the hip, we would start to bring the leg back, which would be hip extension. Now the amount of hip extension is really, really important, and I'll show you this in the side view as well, that we want the knee to be in line with the hip. Now this is crucial because that's the proper testing position, and you can get false information if you don't do the test correctly. So we can't let that pelvis drop backward, it shouldn't be rotating forward too much, it should be situated exactly where it's at. Now classically in the Obers test, a positive test would be if we take the knee and we start to lower it down and we cannot do so and break the line of parallel. So if we're stuck hanging in midair here, that would classically be called the positive Obers test, okay? So a lot of people will pass that test unless there is a strong amount of restriction here. But in the PRI test, what we're looking for is not only to drop down below that hip level in parallel, but to be able to get that knee to go all the way down to the table. So the femoral neck should be able to, uh, to move properly within the hip or the acetabulum to go all the way down. Now the restrictions of this are the femoral neck not being able to clear the acetabular wall here or the medial inferior labrum, okay, the rim. If it's caught on that, the leg will not be able to drop down. Now the feeling of this is not going to be so much of a stretch, it's just going to feel almost like a harder, like a bony block, and that's what's going on. There's usually not any discomfort uh, from the individual when we're hitting that restriction either, it just won't go. Now the explanation for this in the Posture Restoration Institute uh, model is that the innominate or the pelvis is in an anteriorly rotated direction. So that is altering how the femoral neck can move within that acetabulum, okay? So in the PRI model, this is very, very common on the left as a component of the left AIC pattern. The left denominant, the pelvic bone, has a tendency very strongly in most people to rotate forward. And as it rotates forward, this will produce a finding here of a positive finding on that adduction drop test. When it's done on the right side, it can be positive depending on what's going on with the person, but more often than not, it is negative or easy to make a negative test and let that knee go all the way down to the table because of the relative posterior anominate rotation on the right side. Now in another video, we'll de describe what's going on on the right side, but this is the adduction drop test within the PRI model with similarities with the Obers test, but slightly different in terms of what we are looking for. So I hope that's helpful to be able to see on the skeletal model exactly what is going on during that adduction drop test. Thank you so much for watching. Any comments, feel free to comment below, hit like on this video, and be sure to subscribe.